Good day overclockers. Still on the fence about whether to upgrade to some ray tracing goodness with NVIDIA RTX? Well sit back and relax as we explain to you why RTX is such a big deal and why you should consider upgrading soon. Let's take a look. What is ray tracing I hear you ask? Ray tracing is a rendering technique that creates a graphical image based on virtually generated light and what that lighting source should interact with along an image plane. Ray tracing can replace traditional rendering of lighting effects in most video games with a far more lifelike depiction of scenes based on how light interacts with the real world. TLDR, the lighting effects in your game should look a lot more realistic. However, ray tracing requires a significant amount of power to render the effects you see on screen. This is where the RTX series of GPUs from NVIDIA come into play. The idea of tracing a light source in an environment generated by a computer was first discussed way back in the 60s by IBM's Arthur Apple. Look him up, he was a pretty smart man. The idea from there has been continued to be theorised until Caltech professor Jim Kajia issued a paper called The Rendering Equation. NVIDIA picked up his ideas and now here we are. To test the differences between RTX Off and RTX On, we played a few chapters of the super spoopy and graphically stunning Metro Exodus. Let's take a look at what we discovered. So I'm already noticing that it's sort of, you see the light coming through the windows really realistically. You can see the trees here, even out there. Or is it the net, I guess? It'll be the net. Um, with that moving, you can even see that in the reflection, which is really nice. You can see that it's really rendering the actual lighting, uh, which is impressive. You can even see on character faces and stuff, you've got a really nice replication of, he's got light down one side and shadow down the other. And it looks, it is really nice. It's really realistic. Wow, when you um, when you look out into the into the world, I mean, I mean, this is some really impressive stuff. You sort of underestimate how much lighting, how far it goes to provide realism. And I mean, on a scene like this, wow, it could almost be a photograph. That is very impressive. So it's really this moment when you sort of step out is very impressive. The lighting on the gun, if you can see. When I turn, wow, you can see the reflections of the light on the gun and everything. It's really, really impressive. Ooh. Oh, nice. So I've just lit a fire. And even the, the light around the fire, I know it's daytime here, but if I try and get it in my shadow. Ooh, oh wow, set myself on fire while doing that. But you know, that's fine, that's fine. So again, we got like some fire again burning and you can see all the light around, it's really nice. You're getting that glow, it's really responding with the world. I can imagine in a lot of situations, sort of this could really build some immersion by giving you such a more realistic and sort of in interactive environment. I mean, when you're doing things like setting fires or, you know, gunfire in a dark room, it really gives you more of a feeling of immersion and that you can really interact yourself with the, with the world of the game. And that really does wonders for, for yeah, your immersion levels, I suppose. Because the shadows, the way the light's so much, sort of like the light shining on that side, all the shadows on this side. It's nice stuff. Oh, what the hell is this? Wow. He's gross. Oh, so, this is interesting. It seems that the, the sun's going down in the world of Metro Exodus, which as you can see, has a real impact on the game. I imagine that the ray tracing really helps with this to give a much more realistic sort of sundown moment, a lack of light, um, which is, I can safely say, making things much creepier already. You can tell that um, RTX is really, why won't this gun shoot? <laughs> you can tell that RTX is really something that can be utilized well for sort of scary, horror, atmospheric games sort of just the gunfire as you're shooting in the dark and like you can see the fire and the flashing lights over there it's just very uh, very immersive very real even the lights off there oh you can see sort of shadows in the distance that you might not know completely what they are yeah definitely oh hello wow look at that fire and these effects sort of really realistic sort of the reflections and everything turn the light off you can see even more wow it's like being in the depths of hell 
Oh god, okay, so we've got a smashed lens, which I'm assuming um, isn't good. <laughs> that can't be a good sign. Um, we've got these little mole rat looking things. Oh, jeez. They're not friendly, not friendly at all, and we are getting a bit swarmed. Let me pump up my gun, because that's a thing you do. Pump your gun. Um, right, there we go. Take that. Take that. Look at the reflections on this water. That is really nice. Um, geysers and everything with some light. It's, it's just a beautiful scene. Wow, fire geysers. Fire geysers. This is really some impressive stuff. I mean, I, I've got to say that it's just fun running around in this world, doing whatever, just because of how beautiful everything is and how immersive it is. It really does give you that extra layer of immersion, making you feel like you're really in the game, really in the game's world. And um, that's so fundamental and enjoyable in an, ex like an exploration-based game like this. It's, uh, yeah, it's great. As you can see, the Asus Zephyrus laptop really does handle RTX flawlessly. And the RTX experience for me was really good. I mean, that extra level of realism that it adds with the natural lighting effects is brilliant. It really does do a good job of bringing you into that game world. As of uploading this video, there are 12 games out there that currently support the use of RTX enhancements to make in-game lighting effects look even more gorgeous and immersive, with many more expected to be announced throughout 2019. Ray tracing is indeed a technology in its infancy, but will be built upon as what will most likely be considered as an industry standard for future GPUs. Another feature to touch upon is something called Deep Learning Super Sampling, otherwise known as DLSS, which is an extra addition to all RTX cards. The use of DLSS lightens the load when it comes to anti-aliasing and smoothing edges in game by utilising the card's AI-driven tensor cores. This is no feature to be scoffed at, as this gives RTX owners a small advantage over their GTX counterparts. DLSS is currently also available for games such as Metro Exodus and Battlefield 5, as well as 25 other games as of making this video. The Asus Zephyrus SGX531 gaming laptop we've been using for this video is just one of the many RTX ready gaming solutions you can purchase from our website. Featuring a monolith of graphical power in the NVIDIA RTX 2080, 16GB of memory, a 144Hz 15.6 inch display and an Intel Core i7-8750H processor, this laptop brings you high in performance and reliability in a nifty package you can take anywhere and everywhere. And with this laptop, Metro Exodus never looks so good. And there we have it. Consider your RTX explained. And thank you so much to Asus for providing us with this brilliant Zephyrus laptop. Speaking of Asus, we have a competition running with them at the minute, which you can find out more details down below. Thanks for joining us on our first episode of the OCUK Academy. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for any further episodes. And while you're at it, why don't you go to our social media channels where you can find all of our latest deals. Cheers, overclockers. See you next time. <laughs>